Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to edit m and i e. Um, I'm going to uh, send myself to Nellis for a week for whatever, and I'm going to pretend, uh, at least initially, that I was told one or two meals are not going to be available on base. So if you don't know, usually when you are sent TDY to a military installation, DTS will automatically uh, de default you to the government meal rate or GMR rate. And if that's not accurate, you're going to have to adjust it. If you're going to adjust it, Usually it's going to be because you have reporting instructions telling you to adjust it ahead of time or you go and you can't use the defect not because you didn't want to or because you found it to be an inconvenience because you were tired uh, because there was a real reason like the defect was closed for dinner or they, you know, they wouldn't let you eat there um, and even then you know, proceed with caution. But anyway, uh, this is really just about how to adjust that M&IE rate or that meal incidental rate. So uh, we'll get to it. I'll go to official travel. I'll use authorization slash orders, but this would apply to vouchers as well. Uh, you can go to edit next, once you find what you want to edit, and then expenses, per diem entitlements. So the first and last day, you probably know, you're typically going to receive 75% of the TDY location's uh, max meals and incidental rate. So I'm not going to touch those days. I'm going to focus on the days in the middle. In this case, that will be 17 July through 21 July. So I'll click the edit link on 17 July. Now where you see values apply through, I'll open up this calendar and make it 21 July because I really don't want to edit every single day. And now I will scroll down to the meals section. And let's say I was told, hey, I can't eat breakfast there. Okay. I'll uncheck breakfast, I'll scroll down, I'll click save these entitlements, click OK on the pop-up, and there you go. I don't know if you noticed, but my meal rate uh, went from $18 and change to $42 a day. Uh, what if it's two meals I can't eat? Well, I'll click the edit link on the 17th. Uh, have this go through the 21st yet again, just like I did last time. Let's say it's lunch. I'll uncheck lunch, scroll down, click save these entitlements, click OK on the pop-up. Really didn't change the rate. That's still the proportional meal rate. Whether it's one or two meals that I'm missing, uh, I'll receive the, the same amount. Um, so what if I find out I can't eat any meals on base? Well, let's click that edit link on the first day yet again. One more time, we'll extend this through the uh, entire applicable period. Now uncheck dinner, scroll down to click save these entitlements, click OK on the pop-up, hey, now I'm getting 64 a day. Uh, just remember, if you're going to do this, you really need something to back it up. Uh, but we're not going to get too into that for this tutorial. This is just a how-to, and that's how you adjust your M&IE. Uh, hope this helps. Good luck, guys.